Hello everyone, I'm Takatoshi Higuchi from Japan. First, I'd like to thank the organizers of this session for giving me the chance to speak here. I was really looking forward to see you all in Adelaide, but I had to participate online. However, I believe this on-demand presentation is a chance for me to make my research known to wider audience. I would like to hear your frank opinion about my research. So let's start. Today, I'm gonna present about the spawning migration behavior of Japanese eel in western North Pacific. The spawning area of Japanese eel is located in southern part of West Mariana Ridge. The larvae leptocephali are transported by the North Equatorial Current and Crossio before entering their estuary and freshwater growth habitats in East Asia. The post-growth silver eels begin downstream migration and subsequent oceanic spawning migration to return to their spawning area. To reveal the spawning migration behavior, the behavioral tracking using satellite tags have been conducted and observed deal vertical migration behaviors. However, these efforts were limited in coastal region of East Asia. So, the whole aspects of Japanese eels spawning migration have remained a mystery. To estimate the horizontal migration route of silver Japanese eels, Three hypotheses have been proposed. First, Tsukamoto 1994 proposed that eels migrate to the eastward along Kroshio just after departure the coastal area. And then, eels turn south to migrate toward their spawning area. The second one, Matsui 1972 proposed that silver eels move straightly toward their spawning area from each departure location. The third one, Yokose 2008 proposed that eels swim upstream side in Crossio and the North Equatorial Current. However, it is still unknown which hypothesis shows the correct migration route in these three hypotheses. To solve these problems, accumulating the behavioral information in whole phase of Japanese eels spawning migration. So we tracked the swimming behavior in initial, middle, and terminal phases of their spawning migration using pop-up satellite archival tags. Pop-up satellite archival tag PSAT is remote observation equipment of aquatic animal migration after releasing eels with PSAT attachment, the time series data of swimming depth and experienced water temperatures are observed and staged inside the tag. And then, the tag is uncoupled from eel, pop up to sea surface, and transmit the archived data to us through Algos satellite system. This is the tagging and releasing scene of silver Japanese eel in their spawning area in May 2014. This individual was captured in coastal area of Japan and transported to this location. The PSAT and eel were connected by plastic band just before release. The tagged eel was released from research vessel Natsushima from Jamstech, Japan using plastic bucket with long ropes. And finally, the release was succeeded. Similar release experiments have been conducted from coast of Japan west side of Ogasawara Islands and their spawning area, with PSAT attachment on eel dorsal. On the right map, yellow and red plots show the release and pop-up location respectively. In the coastal area of Japan, 
Most individuals moved eastward along Kroshio or Kroshio extension and reached the pelagic side. In the pelagic area, one Pisa traveled more than 600 km south. So, we estimated that Japanese eels migrate along Kroshio in the initial period of their spawning migration. After that, they turn south to migrate towards their spawning area. These tracking results support the hypothesis of Tsukamoto 1994. From the tracking, repeated vertical movements were observed in not only coastal region, as past reported, but also pelagic region and spawning area. These vertical migrations were repeated with daily rhythms and confirming that they are deal vertical migrations. Today, I'm gonna explain about the detailed behavioral characteristics in nighttime and daytime. First, about the nighttime behavior. It has been known that nighttime swimming depths of some ungulate species change with lunar age variation. In this study, we sorted the swimming depth data into when without and with moon in the sky. During no moon in the sky, Japanese eels stayed at almost constant layer in spite of lunar age variation. On the other hand, the nighttime swimming depths uh, with moon presence in the sky got gradually deeper with moon waxing. Furthermore, the range of swimming depths were gradually wider with moon waxing. To investigate the cause of depth range increasing, we analyzed correlation with moon altitude. The lunar age is an index that changes from day to day, while the moon altitude is an index that changes constantly within each night. The nighttime behavior patterns changed between before and after the timing of moonrise or moonset. In the period without moon in the sky, eel remained in a constant layer throughout each night. And during night with moon in the sky, the swimming depth significantly gradually deepened with moon rising and became shallow with moon falling. Based on these results, eels might adjust their swimming depths by sensing slight changes in moonlight. There are box plots of swimming depths and experienced water temperatures in three tracking areas. The blue boxes show nighttime and red boxes show daytime. The nighttime swimming depths were different among three areas and daytime also. As I mentioned, nighttime swimming depths were determined by moon illumination. Therefore, the water temperature that eel experienced could reflect the thermal environment in each area. In this study, the nighttime experienced water temperature increased with the progress of spawning migration. On the other hand, during daytime, eels experienced almost the same water temperature, about 5 degrees C, throughout their spawning migration even if different swimming depths. The daytime swimming depths might be determined by water temperature. Next three, we estimated the predation events on migrating Japanese eels. The predation periods were determined based on the differences between the recorded temperatures of PSAT and the actual water temperatures observed by XCTD probes in each area. In our study, eels were ingested in down periods on shallow layer. The twilight period in shallow layer might be high risk situation for predation even if eels perform DVM. From ingestion to ingestion that highlighted in yellow, PSAT could record the swimming depth and stomach temperatures of potential predators. Based on the behavior pattern of potential predators, 
They might be large endothermic fish such as tuna, sharks, or swordfishes. For conclusions, Japanese eels migrate eastward along the crucial in the initial phase and then turn south to migrate towards their spawning area. They repeated clear deal vertical migrations every day during the whole period of their spawning migration. Nighttime swimming depths of their deal vertical migration are determined by weak moon illuminance variations, and daytime maximum swimming depths are determined by fixed water temperatures, which is 5 degrees C in Japanese eels. In our study, tagged eels were ingested by endothermic fish in shallow layer during down. Japanese eels' deal vertical migration is the essential behavior for success of their spawning migration and reproduction. First, the behavior that avoids bright environment with the sun and moon might play a part in the risk reduction for prey. And during nighttime, ascending to shallower layer might contribute to promote oogenesis by experience of both nighttime warm water and daytime cold water in each day. Mikawa et al. 2019 reported that Japanese eel advanced its GSI by manipulating the exposure temperature with daily risk to replicate the deal vertical migration. So, the deal vertical migration of eels might play a role in predation avoidance and oogenesis promotion. The spawning migration behaviors have been tracked and reported in seven of all 16 ungulate species. Almost all of them showed similar deal vertical migrations and they might be common behavior of ungulate eels. However, there are still unknown that deal vertical migrations of all ungulate species are defined by same mechanisms like for Japanese eels or not. So, we are gonna analyze the tracking data of multiple ungulate species using same methods with our Japanese eels research and compare the behavior characteristics among the species. Incidentally, this research project is already underway. Dr. Shun Watanabe, who is one of the presenters in this session, will be make an on-demand presentation about the spawning migration behavior of tropical freshwater eel Anguilla celebrescensis. Please don't miss his presentation. My presentation was mostly about our recent article published in Journal of Experimental Marine Biology and Ecology. If you are interested in our research, please get this article or access my research gate. The QR code is here. So that brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.